Hi Scorpio, welcome back. This is going to be your May morning to reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node for Scorpio. May 1 and 2 for Scorpion, please. What's coming in for Scorpio? What's coming in for Scorpion? May 1 and 2 for my... Ow. For my Scorpios, what's coming in? Scorpio. May 1 and 2 for Scorpion, please. Okay. Yeah. If you're doing spell work on somebody's home or domestic life, that's going to backfire seven of wands and the justice uh, instantly. Someone's going to, you're going to get a solid confirmation of somebody's shit backfiring on somebody and that they're trying to do spell work on you. Okay, let's, what is this for Scorpio? Give me one. Okay, there we go. Where is it? We have the four of cups. Yeah. So whatever's going on, it's not working. Yeah, the nine of swords. Someone's scared of it not working. They're fearful. They're worried about their, this plan not working or whatever they're trying to do here. Okay, it's a no-go. We got the nine of swords and the five of swords. Yep. Now somebody's worried. Yeah, okay. I'm so over this. All right, yeah, the four of cups. So this could be a missed opportunity or you're just bored. You're over it. You're over everything. You just don't give a fuck. You don't care. Or you're worried about what... Yeah, let's see what this is. What's the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords for Scorpio? Yeah, we got we got this... Upset, yeah, the, not, the, the, the devil. Okay. And we have the Nine. So, so you're worried. Yeah, two Nine. So you're worried about... Okay. Yeah, the King of Wands. So th this could be a situation where the Nine of Swords, it didn't, yeah, the five, wow. So I feel like you're nervous. I, I, I feel like you're worried, but at the same time, you're overindulging. You're doing these addictions, drinking, smoking, sex. You don't care. You just want to, you just want to get what you want. You want what you want. You're going to do it. You don't give a fuck. Even if you're nervous or you know, you know, whatever. They have the Ten of Wands and the Fool. Yeah, and the Judgment. All right, I just, yeah, the Five of Swords is sticking out right here. And now we have the Five of Wands. So a lot of competition, jealousy, or whatever the fuck this is that's going on here. Okay, yeah, the Magician. What is this Magician, man, that keeps wanting to show itself? The Seven of Cups. What What is this Magician? All right. So I feel like somebody is um, a little nervous or upset or worried or fearful about. what What's the Magician? And the devil, that looks like some uh, obsessive. We have two nines, so something is complete. What is this magician and devil right here? Okay, nine of cups. I don't know what somebody's doing. Magician and devil and nine. Yeah, the empress. Yeah, the eight of wands and the empress on this Libra. Or your, or your mother or your mother is doing this or this Libra. Yeah, some, something is progressing here. Or you could be getting your... Your hair done, nails or feet done or something like that. Yeah, the two of swords, a double, yeah, d yeah, somebody with heavy Libra placements. These are Libra and so is the Empress. So I'm getting you're holding on to heartbreak or past or the past or whatever this is. So, so, so something about, yeah, a tough decision. Okay, what what is the Empress in the Eight of Wands? Somebody, yeah, okay. So this is somebody you want to apologize to. So I see you calling your mother or this empress or whoever apologizing, saying something, maybe a text. Okay, yeah, the nine of cups. Or you want to pleasure this, You or you want to pleasure somebody. Yeah, the two of wands and the page of pentacles. Okay, all right, man. Let me see. What is this nine of swords and the magician? So taking massive action here, this it's a, it's a bit of an obsession here with pleasing somebody, maybe eating them or something like that. I'm just I'm just 
saying what it is here, man. This is what I'm seeing. God, my fucking ear is. So maybe your ear is. We have the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Star and the Sun card. Okay, someone's a big star here. If they're not yet, they're going to be. Yeah, something ends abruptly. So something or, or, or someone's breaking their silence. They want to apologize or say something. Or maybe you're going to apologize and you're not going to get anywhere. Or they are. Yeah, something ended abruptly. Someone blocked someone or excommunicated someone. So this could this definitely looks like oh, what's the devil in the nine of swords? It's like somebody's obsessed with somebody here. Somebody's progression or they're moving forward. But I'm I'm getting like you trying to reach out to somebody. Somebody's like no, especially the fucking empress. Bitch, you gonna bow down and you gonna respect the empress or you gonna stay the fuck away from them? That's it. Just is no other way around it. Yeah, I saw five five five. Libra got that a lot in their reading, so you definitely could be dealing with a Libra. Or watch Libra's reading or whatever the fuck this is. Okay, yeah, we have the death card. There you are, Scorpio, and the six of cups. So this could be somebody you have children with or something about the past. And if you don't have children with them, then whatever. Okay, yeah, we got the um six of pentacles. So being so what's the six of pentacles? Who is this? Scorpio, yeah, the justice. There's that Libra in the five of swords. So the Five of Swords and the Justice coming out together is like sweet karma. Okay, yeah, the Five of Cups. Sweet karma. So now somebody, yeah, the Justice Five of Swords, this Libra is winning or this is you. And now somebody's like, oh, I want to. Yeah, okay, let, let, let me set these, these. The Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody, yeah, it's 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 over. Somebody may be trying to patronize you or give you something here. Yeah, the five of cups. Now somebody's regretful or they're sorry, or this is their way of apologizing by patronizing you. Maybe you're maybe this is somebody that um they, they sell stuff or whatever, and you and you're patronizing or you're watching. Uh, oh my god, you motherfuckers dog. Yeah, the page of cups. It's 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 an it's just ugh. What's the five of swords? But the five of swords and justice is like sweet karma. It's like you you try to do something to somebody and, and they get the coldest revenge. And that's in their career, their success. It's not even like doing nothing to you. It's just their career and their success. Or this is you. Somebody may even try to do something. Yeah, the justice five. So if you're doing something petty, you're going to pay for that. If you're doing something petty here or, or trying to do whatever or put it in or disrupt or block somebody's patronism or their money or whatever, you're going to pay for that. Because I feel like somebody's doing something because you rejected them or you blocked them, you excommunicated them, you don't want them. So I'm going to do spell work to try to stop your money or your bitch. Who are you? I feel like I, I just heard a death. Okay. I've been getting that a lot with Scorpios. Okay. Because somebody is doing, you're, you're doing something petty. What's the five of swords, six of pentacles? Yeah, the, the, the fucking five of cups. You're going, to, you're, you're going to lose majorly here. Yeah, the emperor and the nine of pentacles. It's just like somebody's jealous because someone's getting paid. They're independent. They're self-sufficient. They're a boss. They're making their money. They're getting what they deserve. Somebody's like, why do they always get justice? Or how do they get this? So somebody's mad or you're mad? What is the magician right here with the tennis? I just feel like something, oh, I'm seeing, I'm getting like an instant backfire. Oh, okay. So somebody gets instant justice, literally. Ten of swords, that's instant. With the seven of wands, that's a backfire when you try to do work on this Libra. Instantly, they get justice in their finances, their money, their whatever, and you lose. It's going to backfire on you instantly. What's the seven of wands, ten, ten of swords, or it's going to backfire on them or whoever's doing this. What's the magician? Because I feel like somebody wants to apologize or offer you something, but somebody's like, no, I don't want your fucking apology. I don't want shit from you. So somebody's going to try to, to, for, to, to, what, what is this magician? What is the magician in the ten of swords, seven of wands? Somebody's going to get the world. It's over. As soon as you try to do anything to stop or obstruct this person, you're going to pay. That five of swords and justice coming out, you that that's like cold. That's like sweet revenge. It's like five of swords. It's like, yeah, I'm laughing. I'm gloating. I'm getting away with something. That's a minor arcana. The justice is a major. The five of swords is like, yeah, I'm winning. You get to laugh. I won. I won up them. But it's quick. The, the, the motherfucking justice, it lingers. 
So if you're doing something wicked, you're going to pay. Your money is going to be affected. Your finance, this person is still going to take off like a rocket. Eight of Wands, because it's their destiny. It's their justice. So if you've been doing that, or or, or, or this or this is, yeah, the Emperor and the Empress. Oh, okay. So this could be like a twin flame or something. Yeah, the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So there's somebody here you want to work with. Who else got this energy? I think it was Sagittarius and Libra. You definitely could be dealing with a Libra or Sagittarius or somebody with those placements. Okay. I even think Taurus kind of got this because it's giving me, I don't know. Okay, but it, but it's giving me some manipulative energy here. What's the um? But I feel like with the world, it's over. Something is over, and someone knows it, and they and they and they want to apologize. This empress ain't with it, bitch. You ain't you ain't got no reason to motherfucking to be apologizing, or this is how you feel. All right, the empress is to be respected. It ain't nobody higher than her. It ain't nobody better than her. Looking better than her. Doing better than her, or none of that shit. She embodies every motherfucking queen and there is nothing better or do or nobody doing better. So if you had an opportunity with this person and you shitted on them, you abused them mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, uh, emotionally, in whatever way. Maybe you did it in all ways. You're going to pay for that. I feel like with the world, that's a major arcana, something that's over. It's complete. There's nothing more that this person can get from this relationship with you or this is how this person feels. The universe has closed it out. Or you feel this way. You pick what side. The universe has closed a situation out and, and they're going to protect this person from you by any fucking means. So if you're trying to comfort them and do, but I can tell that something ain't right because this five of swords here is, is hate. It's envious. It's jealous. It's mind game. Just trying to find a way to one up and win and, 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 and whatever this is. And it's just not going to work. This person is going to continue. So someone may even try to patronize you or give you money to try to get back on your good side. This empress don't give a fuck about that money. And that's little money. With the six of pentacles, that's like, no. You're going to have to have your mind right. This person knows what you're doing. They could be very psychic, intuitive. They know. Their guides keep them aware of anything malicious you're trying to do. If somebody put their walls down with you and trusted you in the past, even though they even had a feeling that they shouldn't, and they did it anyways... And you, and you prove them right, you're going to pay for that. Yeah, we have the six of wands. So somebody is successful. I'm getting, somebody's really watching the comments. Somebody leave and they're following. Somebody's a fucking loser. Yeah, the three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Somebody else focus on their work, progressing and winning. And somebody else is focused on, and you're focused on this person. Or it's vice versa. You pick what side of this you're on. This is what I can't stand, motherfuckers that do this 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 type of shit and then they regretful and they're sad and I'm sorry. It's over. The world card. What is the magician? What now that now somebody's nervous? What's the magician, the devil, and the nine of swords? Because it's not working. It's just not gonna work ever. It's backfiring real bad. Yeah, the nine of wands. Now somebody's on eggshells or they're worried or someone's trying to project some kind of worry or fear on you. So if you're doing this to a Libra, if, if somebody's progressing and you're just scared of because you lost somebody, you know you're a loser, you fucked up, you know you're a rat, you fucked up, you're grimy, you lost this person forever. And you're doing spell work to try to um <clears throat> and you're doing spell work, excuse me, to try to block this person, hinder them, or project some kind of Lot. So, so this could be somebody that could be a model with these two cards, the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, or they're just sexy as fuck. I'm getting like an Instagram model or, or a OnlyFans or somebody just is just real sexy. Okay, if you're trying to project some kind, of, and they progress quickly here too. If you're trying to project some kind of shit on them, it's it's just gonna be a no. I feel like somebody you're gonna be ignored or someone's not gonna answer if you if you reach out to them because they know you're the Five of Swords. They know you're hateful. They know you're grimy. They know that you, that you, and from the way you treated them, they know what the fuck is up. So it's, it's just not going to happen that way. And you're going to get instant karma for even trying that shit with them instantly. So your best bet is to move on, let it go and move on with your life. Because you're never going to have this person. You're not going to disrupt their flow, their money or anything. Yours is going to be disrupted. It's going to backfire on you every fucking time. So we have the nine of wands. And the seven of wands, ten of swords. That's an instant backfire. All these swords and all the shit you sent out to somebody is coming back on you. Or it did or it will. You pick what, what, what happened. This could have already happened. It's happening now or it will if you're doing this. 
It's just not, or, or this person is doing it to you, Scorpio. You pick what you pick what side of this shit you're on, but this is over. And this one's nervous or worried about it because you yeah, have the star, the four of pentacles. Somebody knows you're going to be a star or you know it and someone's trying to hold on to you or hold you back or whatever. It's a no. It's, it's a no. Yeah, it's a, it's a lose, lose. Two of swords, three of swords, eight of swords. Yeah. Someone's still stuck on the past or heartbreak or whatever the fuck this is. Let it go, man. Move on and let it fucking go. Yes, these two cards, someone is hand, literally this is chosen. These two cards together, and it's rare that these two come out together like that. Like, they, they can come out in the same reading. I forgot who, who reading I got this in, but it fell out together. Judgment is are reincarnated. This is what we're called to do. You see the bodies coming out of the caskets, which you were called on this earth to do, hand-chosen. You were hand-picked to do something, Scorpio. You're going to do it by any means, or this person is. And that's another thing. Someone's worried about your calling. They know that you're chosen. They know that you're a star. They know that you're favored. You're covered. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. And it's over. It's been over. Yeah, somebody's calling in North Node. Someone's in their North Node. They're calling. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. And this could be with the Nine of Pentacles Empress. This is a female boss. This motherfucker and bad to the bone with the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is. There is nothing like this, this type of energy. There's nothing like it. Yeah, the full card, somebody free and unencumbered. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's nothing like it. Confirmation that horn beat them twice. The energy, everything. You, you, you will never meet another person like this ever in life. It's rare. And somebody lost it and they, and they try to do things to, yeah, this is somebody's birthright. All these cards are birthright. The stars here, yeah, the ace of wands and the page of wands. So all of a sudden there's a shift. Somebody's very fortunate. They're going to live a very fortunate and rich life. This is you or this other person. There's something new and creative you're doing here. Or somebody new. You could be meeting a new, a fire sign, a young fire sign that, uh, a new young fire sign. Okay. You're very attracted to or whatever. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Could be somebody younger or maybe you're younger than this person. Somebody could see somebody as very immature as well. Like, no, just stay the fuck away from me. Especially the Empress. That's a bougie bitch. She like, mm, mm You ain't got no motherfucking money. You ain't got no motherfucking sense. You evil. You do black magic. You wicked or whatever. That, that you, You're not going to be able to penetrate this person's um energy. The Empress has mastered herself. And the Empress is here as well. So I feel like this is one person, though. I feel like this person carries emperor and empress energy evenly. They're feminine and, and, and masculine energy. They carry both of those perfectly. Yes, balance with the scale. Somebody can balance their emperor and their empress energy, their masculine and female energy very well. I feel like somebody's mad about that, too. Because you can, you can, you can, um, so if you're, if you're like, um, gay and this is not for everybody, if you, if you, some days you're feminine, but other days you're a stud, if you're a female, you just carry your energy both ways. Someone's jealous of that. Or if you're not gay at all, it just is somebody that is really boss. Everything they move, every, how they talk, walk, move, everything is boss. They don't play. This is a feminine energy I'm getting that is like, they, they don't play my nigga. You're going to fucking respect them or you will be. It will be a wrap. You need to have something to offer this person tangible that they can taste, touch, and feel or don't come around them. Period. Whatever the fuck this is. What's the nine of wands, seven of wands that happened? In, yeah, somebody's yeah, because somebody thought that they was going to, I don't know what they fuck they thought this was going to be. It definitely is not that. Yeah, the third, the three of cups, nine of wands and lying and third parties and cheating or they thought this was going to be an in and out thing or whatever. Hell no. Nah. You commit to the fucking empress. You marry them, you commit to them or you or you leave them the fuck alone. They need something. Ta yeah, the higher font, marriage. They need something tangible that, that, that they can taste, touch and feel long term because they're going to bring you plenty of abundance. 1919, 19, plenty of happiness. They're going to make your house a home. They're going to give you beautiful children because they birth beautiful children. They're going to motherfucking be rich and have all this shit. They're going to, they have what they need to offer. The question is, is do you? Somebody here has the perfect birth chart as well. They were destined to shine and be bright and abundant in this life. And they're not going to, and they know their birth chart. This could be somebody that reads birth charts, a Libran. You see that? That's a birth chart. They could be some kind of astrologer or whatever. They know their destiny. They know what's up. They're not about to, they're not about to play with a motherfucker. 
Like play with you for what? No, you're going to be cut off dead and done. And whatever this wicked ass shit you somebody trying to do behind the scenes ain't going to happen. What's the magician nine of swords and the devil again? Because I feel like somebody try to, now they're nervous or worried it's not working. What is this nine of swords, four of cups? Yeah, the five of pentacles. Or you try to put somebody in the motherfucking five of pentacles, your ass is going to be in it. Yeah, the queen of swords, there it is, a Libra again. Somebody is well aware of what you're doing. And, and I feel like somebody, or you are aware of what somebody's doing and they're nervous or they're worried about it. I'm getting this person wants nothing to do with you because of what you did. And you know what you did. They, you know they know what you did and everything is over. Doing wicked to this person. Your baby mother, father, or whatever. Your wicked, evil fucking soul. And they know that. And you're not going to have anything to fucking do with them. You can stalk, watch, stare, and do whatever else the fuck you want to do. That ain't going to change a motherfucking thing. You're not going to be nowhere near this person. And if you try to affect their finances or anything like that, your shit is going to, it's going to backfire instantly on you. You had the opportunity to do right. Somebody did not want to do that. Period. We have the higher font, Taurus energy. So you could be meeting somebody new. Somebody did you fucked up. You're meeting somebody new here. You're going to be married or you're going to whatever the fuck. What's the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups? I mean, Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups. Yeah, because, you, yeah, the seven of swords. See, that sneaky energy. It could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, someone's lying about a water sign. The Sagittarius, or you have Sagittarius placements. You lied about a, war, a water sign you're involved with. No, they already know about that, too. It's a no-go. Yeah, a third-party situation. It's a no-go. Or you didn't want to make a decision between two people, or you couldn't, or whatever. Fine. So the Empress will make it for you, because it ain't nobody higher than her. Not no queen of cups, not no pinnacles, swords, or none of them hoes. She is, she is, she is all of them. So it's just not, you're just not, it's, you're just not going to get better than that. And that's just period. All right. Yeah. Or you thought somebody was going to compete or fight for you. You're not even worth it. I don't even see no motherfucking, or they're not. This person is very abundant, but I don't see no coins. I don't, I don't really see shit here. Except for mind games, lies, betrayal, stabbing in the back. Somebody's a habitual liar. So somebody's blocking. Somebody could excommunicate someone and block their ass. Because they thought that they were just going to fuck on them. Or they thought that they was going to get something from them. Or they thought it was just going to be something when someone was actually an angel in your life. No, it's over. What's the six of wands, the empress, and the nine of pentacles with the justice? This person will get justice or you will or they will or whoever the fuck will. Yeah, the lovers in the three of cups. So I'm getting this is somebody from your past you want to reconcile with or you want to be in a lover's connection with. What's the justice in the nine of pentacles? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of seeing you're in love with this person, um, Scorpio. I saw the king of cups. Yeah, the ten of cups. So this person is makes you happy here. Yeah. Four of pentacles in the death. Yeah, this is a, wow, yeah, this is a person you want. Yeah, the high priestess. This is somebody vibrating very high. There could be a telepathic connection between you two or a very spiritual connection here. Very, very spiritual. Very, okay. I'm getting you're holding on to this person, Scorpio. You don't want to let this person go, but it's over. World card is dead. You treated them like shit or like they didn't matter or you felt like they wasn't worthy or you thought you were going to breadcrumb them or just try to abuse them or do something. You're going to pay for that. When you when you ask for something in life or people come into your life, you, you, you need to you need to cherish it. Not motherfucking try to destroy it. Yeah, we have the eight of pentacles. Now you want to work it out or you want to be loyal or you're in love or you want to fight for this now. I want to fight for it. I'm, I'm sorry because that's the knight of cups and the um, five of cups. That's regret. I apologize. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying or whatever. But I don't see the ace of swords. I don't see anything about the truth here. I don't see anything where this person or where you should be dealing with this person again or if they should be dealing with you. You pick which side. I see no indication here whatsoever. What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah. Three of Wands. Yeah, this, you can look forward to a lot of extra. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Something is taking off fast. Okay. Uh, this could be new love or a new endeavor, a new, new something new here. All right. Yeah. The Ace of Cups. Yeah. And the Ten of Pentacles. So something is definitely. So now, now you have something to prove or now. 
Yeah, the star card. Somebody definitely, yeah, the star. I feel like somebody wants to heal it or they want to give you more now, provide for you or do more. It's like, mm, yeah, the king of cups or show, show, show more love or whatever this is. What's the king of pentacles? Yeah, the lovers and the three of pentacles. Somebody wants to work, but I feel like somebody's in a third party situation or there's always some third party or somebody has addictions here. They're a manipulator. They're a liar. They're all, they're, they're just all the shit or this is you. Somebody overindulges. They can't control themselves with the devil card, nine of cups. They don't fuck anybody, anything. They just move. The, the, the empress does not move like that. They are they 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 are abundant. They're bringing in peace and healing. Somebody could be an astrologer or a psychic or a, a natal chart reader or all of those. This is somebody that heals humanity. They don't have time to be playing with somebody trying to abuse them. The universe is going to take you down. Especially when it was brought into your life to choose. Somebody is handpicked by the heavens to live a very luxurious life. Started in fame. And if this person came on your path to heal you or to possibly for you to work with them or something and you just decided to shit on them due to your ego or you want to win, you're going to lose. And you are losing because somebody is, is regretful here. Or whatever wicked you sit towards this person is going to be sent back to you. You're, going to, you're the one going to be stuck, trapped, or whatever this is you tried to do to this person. Real shit. Your reading is too long, but I, I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, what's the devil? Nine of swords in the, in the fucking um, magician. Yeah, the star card. Yeah, there's no hope here. It's in the reverse. You have the knight of cups. And the death. Yeah, someone's wanted to take the higher road or change or, or something like that. Yeah, the lovers. You're not going to get your wish granted with that star in reverse. That's like saying no. You're not going to do black magic on them. You're not going to do any of that. Or somebody here is not a star and someone else is. Yeah, the star is up right here in this reverse here. So somebody's mad about it or they're upset about it. Yeah, the ten of swords. I feel like somebody is not going to be willing to accept your apology at all. Somebody feels like you're wicked. You try to do something wicked to them and they know what you tried to do. Or what you're trying to fucking do. Now we have the Ace of Swords showing up. So somebody could be a tad insecure about this truth you know. That's weighing heavy on them or it's weighing heavy on you. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups again. That regret and remorse and guilt for what they try to do. Because somebody's wicked. You didn't have to rock like that. There could even been a second chance had somebody not even tried to rock like that. Like in a fucked up grimy ass way, man. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be somebody that owes motherfuckers money or or something like that. Okay. What is this over here with this Empress? Yeah. We have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Empress wants the King of Pentacles. and the, Or this is this Empress. She keeps coming out with this boss energy. Or somebody has moved on with this King of Pentacles. Just period. This millionaire. This of uh, this. Are they a millionaire? Are they going to be with... Or, or two people are meant to be millionaires together. Somebody... It's just over. Because I feel like somebody really, really did some grimy shit here. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Five of Wands. Now somebody's obsessed or they're trying to compete. Or, yeah, the Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to fight. They want to stand their ground for this Libra. This is a Libra card. This Libra is sitting here and there's two men are fighting. Or you're fighting with somebody or competing with somebody. Five of Wands or this Libra. They don't do the comp competition shit and fighting over them either. They don't. They're going to go with the, with the best candidate. It doesn't boost their ego to have two people fighting over them. They 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 want to be with their one person they only have eyes for. Or this is you. They don't care about all that fighting and competing shit. That shit is loser and ego driven. The Empress don't rock like that. It ain't about a competition. It's who really means it from their core. Who's willing to really stay and, and mean it from their core. Not just wanting to compete and win to say they won. They're not going for that. And they know what you're doing. Or what you're trying to do. They know that. Someone has moved on with the king of pentacles. Or they are. Or you have. And that's just what it is. Or maybe now you want to invest time and energy in somebody now. And, and give them more. Because you because you try to break crumb or treat them like shit in the past. Or you thought you that shit was going to fly. It's not. Yeah, I'm getting this over. Yeah, the world card wanting to come out in the reverse. And it's in the up right here. I feel like somebody wants another chance. They don't want it to be over. It's over. 
with the world card. Yeah, now somebody wants to take the higher role or, or have integrity or do the right thing now. Now they don't they don't wanna they don't wanna do it. But I feel like somebody repeats the same patterns. This is somebody that does not grow or change. We have the sun, the magician, and the knight of wands. So you're really happy here, taking charge of your life, manifesting, really excited about a new endeavor here, or this new person, or this could be this person. Okay, yeah, nine of swords, queen of swords. I'm, I'm getting you're also worried about what this Libra will ask you because heavy Libra here, what they will say or ask you or whatever this is, is really stressing you out because they already know the truth. They're just waiting to see if you're going to give it to them. Yeah, if you're going to tell it because they want to see what, if, you, if you still lack integrity. We have the justice card and the ten of pentacles. So justice in the financial situation that you're getting Scorpio or this Libra is. So you're definitely worried about somebody asking you something about the past, questioning you about something that took place in the past, something you lied about, and they already know you lied. They're just waiting for you to tell the truth. All right. Um, so, okay. Yeah, the Eight of Swords it was there in the Four of Pentacles. So, so again, trying to stay to hold somebody or stuck on somebody or you can't seem to let something go, it's over. Okay? With the world card there and the death that kept showing up, I just feel like a situation. Yeah, the death again. I just feel like it's over. It's just done. Somebody made, yeah, the lovers. So somebody could be saying they want to change. Ten of Cups and the lovers, they want this connection. Yeah, the two cup. Wow, this was a beautiful connect. It was like Kudalini sex. The best, the best connection you could ever have, ever. And somebody lost that. Somebody is a, a, a loser. So those are your messages, okay? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Scorpio. Um, I was going to pull, uh, but I didn't see no numbers for you, so it's okay. Anyways, that's it. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one.